Hey, what's going on, Drum Beats Nation? It's Chris coming at you, also known as GT Ogre when I'm on this channel. I got lots to show you today. So come on, let's have a look. It is now one week into January of 2020. So Happy New Year, everybody. We have not had a tow yet in 2020. How could that be possible? Well, I've got some ideas. Come with me. There's a lot going on here in our little neck of the woods, as you can probably hear. In fact, let's take a look here. We got this dump truck, and I think they're getting serious about the no parking. But really what that's for, it's for a project that's going on over here across the street. Now, a lot of you guys might remember, I've talked about St. Pete's Dancing Marlin. That's our pal Pete. He has that restaurant over there. They're doing a lot of work in his backyard there. Why? Well, let's keep going. So why are they tearing up the street behind our pal Pete's place? Well, I put a link up here to another video that I did, and it shows you what's going on down the street. They're building a 16-story building right down the street from us. They have to put in a new sewer line in order to handle that. So in order to do that, it means they're going to be digging up the street, making a giant mess here. They're also working on the power lines up here behind me. Now, what are they doing that for? Your guess is as good as mine. They don't tell me much of what's going on around here, but they've been here for a while. And as you can see, they've got the street pretty well blocked off. And not only that, there are barricades and road closed signs all over the place around here. They're making it pretty clear that they don't want people parking or driving back in this area. In fact, where I'm standing right now is usually on street parking with parking meters. But if we can pull out a little bit, they've got all the parking meters actually closed off. They're not allowing anything over here right now. So what does that mean for our little parking lot? Well, apart from the noise, it's also quite the obstruction. And I think what's going on is there's so much construction happening around here right now and so much traffic being blocked we're just not getting a lot of cars back in the parking lot right now i guess that means no drum beats for us okay so with all that said a lot of you guys ask a lot about what's over here in this neighborhood why do people keep parking over here well i figured with all the construction and all the noise since i don't have a tow to show you this is the perfect time for you to see what's going on over here. That's the construction site that I told you about in the other video. I'll put that link down in the description too if you want to see more about that. Over right next to that is Tenoshi. It is a ramen place, Japanese food. It's pretty good. If you wanted to come and check that out, it's really good. Angry Dog. Great little bar, great little neighborhood restaurant joint. Probably, in my opinion, one of the best burgers that you can get in the Dallas area. If you're ever in town, come over to Angry Dog, check out their burger, tell them GT Ogre sent you. So if we keep turning around, this is St. Pete's Dancing Marlin. Again, great neighborhood restaurant, reasonable prices, homemade everything. Really good. If you're ever in the neighborhood, tell them Chris sent you and check it out. So what else is over here? Well, I'm gonna show you. Right across the street is Uncle Uber's Sandwich Shop. Not a sandwich shop, they're a sandwich shop. It's in their name. They make really good handcrafted sandwiches. They've got some craft brews going on in there. It's good stuff, also highly recommend it. My favorite sandwich over there, probably the pulled pork, maybe a tight second, the uh, crispy chicken sandwich, good stuff. And then across the street from that, Buzz Brews. It's a coffee house, breakfast all day kind of place. Really good. Again, it's all made from scratch, uh, wholesome ingredients, and uh, fun people. It's a good time. I just had lunch there today. It was excellent. So that's what's going on over on this side of the street. But I also thought we'd walk past the parking lot of Shane back here and take a look at What's on the other side of the street? I don't think we've been that way before. You wanna see? Let's check it out. So walking past this way, you can see 
over here is the parking lot. This is where people would pull in and inevitably get towed if they're not visiting our business. So let's go check out to see what is behind me here and what people are getting towed for. So we're here in front of our building right now. The funny thing is, you never see the front of our building. You always see the back of our building. But as with all things that have backs, our building does have a front. You see, Junior, almost everything in the world has a front and back. And here on the front street, right across here, are two music venues. One of them is called Canton Hall. The other one is called The Bomb Factory. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about them. So this is the bomb factory. What is the bomb factory? Well, believe it or not, in World War II, it used to be a bomb factory. Yes, they actually made bombs here that they used in the war. After that, it's been a lot of things, but most recently, it's been turned into a live music venue. They can seat up to 4,000 people right in this building. They have big name acts, they have small acts. And not only that, but they have other kinds of events here too. They've had boxing matches here. They have big watch parties. This weekend, they're going to have a big wrestling match. I don't know what's going on, but it's happening here. So that's the Bomb Factory. Then right next door to Bomb Factory is another place. They're owned by the same people. It's called Canton Hall. So what is Canton Hall? Well, basically, it's just like the Bomb Factory, but it's for smaller productions. So. Maybe uh, lesser known acts or smaller acts or more intimate settings. That would take place over here at Canton Hall. My understanding is they seat a maximum of about 1,200 people there. The building behind me is called the Adam Hatz Building. Why? Because there was a company called Adam Hatz once upon a time and they actually made hats in that building. Before they made hats there, that was a Ford manufacturing plant. Henry Ford built Model T and Model A Fords right there, right across the street from our building. Pretty cool. Now it's residential lofts. It's a really nice place. A couple of our employees live there. Cool urban place to live and uh, hang out. So that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed our little tour of the neighborhood. All of these things that I've shown you, they're on the same block with us. This is the front of our building. When you guys are wondering where are all these people going who park in the lot and then they wind up getting towed, my guess is they're probably going to one of these places that I've just shown you or one of the other places like them that's just around the corner. I hope you enjoyed today's little video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and tell me about it in the comment section. If you hated today's video, give me a thumbs down. Put it in the comment section. Tell me why. Whatever you do, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.